solid force uh, in the band. He was always very kind of kind of uh, aloof from from certain things, right? But always kind of would make sure to fight for what he wanted to fight for. Uh, there's a lot to him. What was what were some of the keys to him for you? Um, yeah, he's um, he's a bit of a Renaissance man in many ways. He's uh, he's got so many facets to his character. You know, he's um, PhD in astrophysics, specializing in interplanetary dust and the refraction of light off of it. Um, uh, but he's also, you know, he's a big animal uh, rights activist. He's uh, he's a, a, an expert on stereoscopic 3D photography. He's a real great English eccentric, and I think. Um, one of the things is to try and, uh, you know, and, and that's the same man that goes out on stage in front of tens of thousands of people and plays guitar like no one else. So I suppose it's just trying to, yeah, work out all those, find out who that private person is that then goes up. What's that need? Because when you speak to him, he's a very softly spoken, humble, gentle man. Um, and you can't imagine that that's the person that has this need to go out and, and rock out. Because ultimately, the thing that you can forget when you speak to him and listen to his general voice is that he has an ego as well. And, um, you know, that's what kind of drives him and that day, you know, he's still playing. He and Roger still go out and, and play uh, with that band. And so there is that drive that, um, that is kind of central to him as well. So it was brilliant being able to uh, meet the man. And uh, he was incredibly generous with his time. And that was great because it allowed me to just you know, demystify this. I just saw him, I grew up with Queen, I idolized him. And when I first met him and he walked into the rehearsal room, I just, I was starstruck, really. But that first rehearsal, he came up to me and kind of gave me a big hug. And he gave me a gift, which was uh, a copy of his book. Um, <laughs> uh, which is a very good book about um, 3D stereoscopic photography. <laughs> and, um, and you know, like from that moment onwards, he, I did, he just like took any pressure off of me because I felt like I had his blessing. And what was great, he, he, um, it just meant that I could spend time with this, this man as a human being and, and try and uh, approach it from that angle rather than be overwhelmed by trying to take on the role of a rock god. He did give you some advice on the live aid stage, right? He did, he yeah. did. So, so we started the whole shoot with live aid, which you know, we'll probably talk about in a bit. And um, you know, it's the one part of the film that we knew we had to capture in absolute minute detail because it's such a recognizable sequence. So we rehearsed for weeks leading up to this. And then on the first day on set, he, uh, he saw the first run through and, and he came up to me afterwards and he's like, no, it's very good to see you. It's good, very, very detailed, very good. Don't forget, I'm a rock star. <laughs> and, uh, and I've got, you know, with that comes a bit of ego. And that's exactly what I talk about. It's like, you know, we could be as detailed as we want in the physical resemblance or in the vocal resemblance or anything like that, but actually we've got to fit it with our own sense of, of kind of energy and, and ego, I suppose, yeah, yeah. I always thought when I'm watching Queen uh, videos, or watching them in concert, or watching the live, aid, that obviously is spread is right there. Those moments when Brian would bring the the guitar up and kind of like it was almost a little bit like don't forget about this as he would like let an amazing guitar let go. Right? Yeah, and as Freddie Mercury is air guitaring. Right, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they were they had an amazing ability to to pass the baton. They were quite you know Freddie was very generous in that sense I think, but he recognized that you know he had next to him. Three amazing musicians, but particularly Brian had his moments to shine as a with, with guitar solos, and you see that with just with the physical shape of Freddie, like present, kneeling down and presenting uh, Brian in those moments, and they were very generous in that sense. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that you know he he was um, he wasn't just generous to me with his time, but to all of us. I think uh, he's a scientist, right? And so he knows that to get the best results, you need the the most amount of evidence that you can to kind of, you know, make your piece. Yeah. And so he tried to give us as much evidence, I suppose, as, as he possibly could. Yeah. Can't, I can't stress how generous he was in that sense. I love that analogy. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard it. I'm all, this, all these days, this is the first time I've heard this. Yeah. Just kind of it out. You're going to have to take this to make it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so